Hi, I'm Will, and this is a Best Body Check-In here on the Geezer Guide to Better Living. I hope that all of my followers, all 28 of you, are on track to try to get your best body this year. I am because I have lost 10 pounds since the beginning of my best body rants. Um, it's almost the end of April starting to go into March. So that's three months down and 10 pounds is really good for that amount of time for I haven't really been going to the gym a lot. I have been doing most of my workouts as far as at home or I have been walking a lot. So when I go back to the gym, when Mother Nature stopped being bipolar and being hot one day and cold one day, and I start going to the gym regularly, I'm sure that that number will go up. I have 20 more pounds that I'm looking forward to losing because it's like carrying a tw uh, three-year-old around on my back. Anyway, three things that you need to do to help you lose weight is to drink more water, to get more sleep, and to exercise. Those three things you need to do to help you lose weight because if you don't drink water, your body will not relieve you from toxins and waste and it holds on to it and you will carry around excess uh, baggage and garbage in your body. You need to filter all that out by drinking more water. And you, if you can drink sodas and beer, you can drink water. You can, you know, that counts as part of it because you do get fluids from that. But if you are not getting enough water, your body's still going to tell you that you need water. And that sometimes can come about by fooling you to believing that you're hungry, but you're not hungry. Your body is telling you that I do not have enough fluids in my body, in your body, to digest the food that is in it or to break down waste. So you will uh, have a false signal that tells you that you are hungry. And it can't be uh, remedied by drinking things, anything else other than water. Another thing that you need to do is you need to get more sleep. If you don't get sleep, also can make you have a false signal that tells you that you're hungry. You will gain weight if you do not get enough sleep. Sleeping helps your body to regenerate, especially if you are working out or exercising. You cannot get where you want to be by burning candle at both ends. You got to get sleep. Eight hours is the base of what they say you need every day. I, as you get older, you need less. In the winter, like I have said in a lot of my other videos, I can sleep anytime, all day, 10 hours, 12 hours, no problem. In the winter time when it's extremely cold. But in the summer, I can get away with five and a half, six. And I will be very rested and ready to go. So you need to get sleep. Sleep will help you to get where you want to, even if you're exercising and doing the other things, your muscles will not have time to repair themselves if you do not get enough sleep. Another thing that you need to do is exercise. You don't have to do anything big. Like I only uh, got out of the bed and stopped sleeping so much and I started walking. I walk every other day at least three miles, sometimes more if the weather's permit, or I will walk it uh, with other people sometimes just to show them the greatness that I feel that walking, especially outside. I cannot do it on a treadmill. I do it on the treadmill if I have to, but I prefer to be outside. And another big thing that I didn't mention that you need to do to make sure that you are on track is nutrition. You got to eat better. You got a lot of people which surprise me do not know about the food pyramid. I thought they taught this in health and science. I learned this in elementary school about the food pyramid. 
and a lot of people don't know about the food pyramid. Let's learn about the food pyramid. Everything that falls in the bottom of the pyramid, you eat more, and as it goes up, you eat these things less. We're going to start off with the carbohydrates and starches. Bread, cereal, I fluffed up cereal a little bit there, and rice and pasta. These things you eat six to 11 servings of them a day. Vegetables, you're going to eat two to three servings a day. Fruits, two to four. And dairy, which is milk, yogurt, and cheese, you're going to eat two to three servings a day. Protein, which is meat, fish, beans, and nuts, you're going to eat those types of things two to three times a day. And fats, oils, and sweets, you're going to eat those very sparingly. Let's go over that one more time because some of you put the pyramid upside down. You're going to eat carbs, 6 to 11 servings, vegetables, 2 to 3, fruits, 2 to 4, uh, dairy, 2 to 3, meats, 2 to 3, and fat, oils, and sweets sparingly. This is what I mean about turning the pyramid upside down. Yes, carbs are, are at the bottom and you have 6 to 11 servings a day, but if you do not eat complex carbs, you eat the wrong type of carb, it will store in your body and turn into sugar and it will make you gain weight. If you eat the right type of carbs, they burn slowly in the body and makes you feel full longer and it also burn fat. The guy on the left has more sweets and oil and fat in his system so that's why he's pudgy around the waist because his pyramid is at the bottom because that's where the sweets and the fats are. But the guy on the right, his sweets, his fats and his oil is at the bottom because he is taking in less. So he is more trim than the guy on the left and happier. We are three months into this year and we have nine more months to go. I hope that you can take these tools of drinking more water, sleeping more, exercising, and eating properly. You don't have to do all of them if you can't do all of them because some people have jobs that they don't get a lot of sleep. But try to put as many of these goals to act as possible and you will achieve your goal. I'm going to check in with you again in a couple of months and see how we're doing. And remember my motto always is diet without exercise doesn't work and exercise without diet doesn't work. You have to put them both together and you can achieve your goal. See you in a few months and thank you for watching.